For far too long, Africa has suffered from negative stereotypes and media bias at the hands of the major Western media organizations. The continent has been described and called by every single challenge faced by the people, including poverty, disease, hunger, and youth unemployment, breeding despair and hopelessness in Africa's young people in our globalized world. As a result, these challenges and illegal migration occasioned by this and other issues continue to be major concerns. But that is not all the story. Africa is home to six out of the world's top 10 fastest growing economies. Africa is a tourist haven and an ultimate investment destination with abundant human and mineral resources. So many more positives and progress stories that the Western media selectively ignore and other times actively suppress. On our own, we're invisible. But together, if we choose, we could be invincible. And that's the thing for Africa. We don't have to any longer take the nonsense about how other people define us. Let us define ourselves. And we have the genius, we have the knowledge, we have the ability, but also look at our countries. We have the minerals, we have the land, and we have all that which could make Africa the first continent in the world. Over the last 13 years, African Leadership Magazine has committed itself to tirelessly showcasing the best of Africa to a global audience, telling the African story from an African perspective, highlighting unique African solutions to peculiar challenges being faced by the continent today, while standing in defense of African and minority leaders globally that are known for their legacy-based approach to leadership, but unduly attacked by foreign mercenary interest. I accept to go about and beyond and help Africa make evil good strides. I accept to deliver selflessly. I accept to serve Africa and Africa's interest until the day that I die. But it takes a village. So tonight, please join me by reaching out your hand to the person next to you. Just reach out to them. There's no coronavirus over here. <laughs> African Leadership Magazine and its events and conferences have become the continent's foremost indigenous African-led business platform, helping business leaders, entrepreneurs, and executives develop and deepen their African influence and networks to fast-track their growth story and business interests on the continent. In Africa, where many of the countries are known for weak institutions, poor infrastructure, and some of the world's horrific conflicts, the inspiring example and impact that one truly effective leader exemplifies and transmits is truly powerful and game-changing, not just for the immediate beneficiaries, but for the world. That is why African Leadership Magazine have made it our mission to not only discover and celebrate these outstanding African leaders and institutions and position them as agents of change that they truly are, but enable them to continue to inspire and lead effectively, so our world becomes a better place for all. We are for the same economic and social progress. Shoulder to shoulder, we will stand together and continue to build an Africa that is free and independent. The struggles of our people and their development aspiration remain fundamentally intertwined with those of fellow Africans elsewhere in our continent. We continue to publish the bi-monthly and highly rated African Leadership Magazine, as well as the gender-focused quarterly Amazon's Watch Magazine 
and have spotlighted, celebrated, and worked with over 20 African heads of state. Over 250 senior African corporate leaders, public servants, and community champions, enabling these leaders to go on to make their communities to become healthier, safer, and more prosperous. The one who buys what you produce supports your prosperity. Therefore, there must be no sectarianism in Uganda because it fragments our market. Moreover, even the Ugandan market is not enough. We need the African market. Hence, Pan-Africanism is core to our program. With the United African market, we can negotiate for access to other markets of the USA, China, India, Russia, Japan. Two of the heads of states we worked with went on to win the Nobel Prize. While our high-level events and work with business leaders have resulted in over $5 billion in deals and more than 500 strategic partnership deals in the last 13 years, creating jobs and opportunities for all. And from a percentage of our corporate profits, we have so far catered and sponsored over 86 indigent African children through their secondary and tertiary education through our Send a Child to School program, our proudest achievement. This is a resurgent Africa, and all of us have a role to play in it. And together, we will bring back the sunshine and sustain the progress that the continent truly deserves. Visit our website and join hands with us as we work towards the eradication of extreme poverty using education as a tool and the overall attainment of the Global Sustainable Development Goals, both for our benefits and for future generations to come.